Okay, so a peacock feather. Hence the makeup. Um, if you look at the tiny individual feathers on it, the peacock feather itself, it has multiple colors. So when the light hits the middle and each of them, um, it almost looks like blue in the middle. But when you take a closer look, it's a mix of all the colors. Really. And it's the same with uh, my hair. It's growing out. Um, it looks dark. Okay. But then the dyed part, if I pull a piece out and I hold it up to the light, it looks like the same color. And it's weird because it's almost like a camouflage. And um, the ring around the moon itself, uh, there's, there's times where there's a uh, rainbow around the moon, which is really neat. And then also within the ring, there'll be um, a couple specific stars. Can't remember how many. I'm going to look at that right now, actually. Uh, I like this. Okay. And um, the whole idea. Uh, and the 69, also symbol for Cancerian. Um, not going to make too many assumptions and stuff. I just thought it was really interesting. So the next time you get a chance to see the moon, I'm sorry I'm like having a hard time <laughs> getting this out. Um, I'm guessing it's really, really important. Uh, but uh, what else was I gonna say? It's nice out. Um, right. Bloodlines. Royalty. Uh, the peacock feather stands for that, which is really cool. Holds a lot of secrets within it. Uh, if you ever look at it, almost like a W. But it uh, can almost look like a phoenix as well. Uh, the whole symbolization for an egg. Um, the layers. Uh, what else? Mm. Knots on a wood, piece of wood, in a tree, which would be the branches, I believe. But knots in, not notes. Well, there's knots, and then there's knots, and then there's notes. But the knots on wood, um, it looks like a peacock feather. I think I posted a picture on Instagram, actually. But, uh, this makeup was fun. Uh, what else? Mm. Oh, um, I don't know if any of you have tried this, but when you hold up a piece of hair up to the sun and you squint, and you look at it, almost like a magnifying glass, and you could see the rainbow. I don't know if you guys can, but I guess I like art and stuff, and I do art, and I see a lot of colors. But you could see when you squint through it, like a bunch of rainbow, like it's a rainbow dot. And uh, it's the same when I had a black button black button with no holes just a rounded black piece of plastic or whatever and if I put my face up to it and I seen the Sun reflect off the black I look in it and it's um, I don't even know if it's fully round but when I look it's would it be often no anyways within what I'm seeing it looks like a, a little man and then it just reminds me of when you see 
the moon and how they say there's a man in the moon. So if your eyes were like the, the sun and the moon, you know how one's closed, one's opened. Um, remember how I said pass down generations for any energies and stuff like that that's not resolved. Um, an injury to an eye, maybe. The whole idea of a pirate. And they're always looking for treasure. And they pillage and plunder and the R word and all this other stuff. And they're, yeah, they're looking for treasure. And then really X marks the spot, which is actually a symbol for gift, for runes. And it's also the symbol for 10, which is time. There goes the lawnmowers, even though they just mow the lawn. And then the same for decibel, which is sound, noise, vibration, frequency. And the same goes for a female hourglass, which would be time and waistline. And your solar plexus, which is the sun, which is also gold, which looks like a circle with a dot in it, which also can be like black hole sun. But would that be your belly button too, maybe? Um, and your solar plexus is like your inner child, your happiness, your joy, your solar energy, your solar power, your heat, but also your gift. Because people that can sing, ooh, they belt it from there. Not from up here in their top chest, from what I'm learning with my singing. They belt it from down there, like in their solar plexus area. The muscles, and you gain your abs by doing that too. So it's almost like you sit up straight, right, for good posture, and they used to wear uh, the corsets too, which is almost like an hourglass. Posture, right? But then tuck your tail in a little bit, your tailbone. And that's your abs, that's your core right there. Very powerful stuff. And so all that ties in together. So if the female have, because the men don't have the same waistline. And so if you think about it, female is the X chromosome, male is Y. Excuse me. And what else we got here? X and Y. And then the plus and then negative. This is like eight points. Like one, two, yeah. One, two, three, four. X, Y, plus, negative. Positive and negative. Masculine, feminine. Mm. I always thought O symbolized universal, so it's like world. Oh, right, almonds, like your eyes, all worlds. So if you think about like um, a boat and they have the, the steering wheel, it's usually, I don't know if they do eight or do they do 12, but it's not six. Where are they getting the six from? That's it's not six, it's eight. A compass has four. You duplicate it. Or, um, cells replicate, right? It'd be eight. Eight and eight, 16, one and six is seven. That's where the whole idea of lucky number seven comes in. However, seven just itself. Is that something completely different? Or is eight the same as seven? Or is that why eight, four is lucky? Lucky clover, sorry, it's sporadic thoughts. I'm trying to get this all in here because it's a lot and it's much easier just write it in a drill. I have most of it actually down. Anyways, melusine, mm, something I talk about a lot. I've been talking about this for a long time, almost a year now. Uh, water goddess, European, first show, female spirit, fresh water, holy well, river, lake, uh, like a lamia or a mermaid, can have two tails, wings, or both. That reminds me of the Voin, Voin manuscript. There's a picture in there, and it's a picture of, it almost looks like um, a mix of a dragon and a lady with bat wings and whatever. And you know kids like to 
draw and make up stuff. Excuse me. <clears throat> Anyways, continue. Uh, immortality, beauty, magic, world, soul, aquatic respiration, shape-shifting, premonition, knowledge of other worlds. Gorgonia in brackets. No, put it in brackets. Wish granting, death sense, the sense of death. Divination, hypnosis, persuasion. Uh, atom kinesis, controlling weather. I had a video that I posted about this. Um, dragon tendencies, D ra G on, ten D A N C ice. Eyes, E, C. That's just me breaking it down. Laying out a symbol in there. I think I posted this. I got distracted. I ended up going into a whole other thing about braids and uh, also the cicalia. If I'm saying that right. And then the whole into the. Um, basically everything but I posted this on one of my uh, I posted this on one of my platforms maybe smart alternative muse art.com or Facebook thing oh, I'm, so, I'm, I'm I gotta take this makeup off my face and I just want to enjoy the Sun and finish that painting it's outside. Can you see? Yeah. What are you doing over there? Get over here. Don't cross the road like that. In the house. All the way. Yeah. No, 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 not on this. Don't play cute. All the way. Oof. Anyways. Um, if you can see. See. And then. And then. This. Almost like a. I got brownie, silver, gold in there. Maybe the whole idea of the sun. I don't know if you could see that. Can you see that? Anyways. This is the what I was working on. You can see. Yes, I hear you. And then I'm going to put, I think it's the... Um, uh, come on, Amanda. What is it? The pyramids? There's one, two, three. Then there's two down here. For like hand. Uh, very important. But then there is another star. Is the moon a star? The moon a star? I think not the Death Star, it doesn't have to be. <laughs> um, what was the other one? The pyramids. They have gold, they have silver, they have bronze, and then they forget about copper. Copper's every color. Oh! You ever put copper in a fire? Like the Phoenix, Phoenix Rising. Copper's every color. Okay, I'm done with this. I'm good. Happy Canada Day. Yay!